Hey everyone. Do you want to revitalize your relationship? Do you want to reignite your passion? It's it can be hard if it's if you're feeling shut down. Yeah. And once you're shut down, you tend not to communicate, and you I th think a lot of people start looking elsewhere for a connection. Mm -hmm. So it can be a downward slide. Yeah. So if you can unshut down yourself, if you can open yourself up and actually get yourself out of that little spiral mm -hmm. or interrupt it altogether, um, it's a lot more accessible and possible for you to reignite those passions. And we're going to tell you how you can re reignite those passions. Just a few ways. I'm Kathy Bartilli from the IntimacyDojo.com. I'm Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. So one thing that happens if you're if one person is starting to feel shut down, the other person probably senses it, and most people will respond one of two ways. That's sexy. Oh my God, you're so shut down. I'm oh, I'm feeling passion. That's probably not one. Probably not. They might get really fearful and clingy, like don't leave me. I can like what can I do? Ah. Or, and we're not mocking people, we know how painful that can be. Yeah. Or they can start feeling resentful and angry and kind of going, you never do that, you're never there for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Now those are really human responses and neither one is likely to open up your, like bring more connection back to mm -hmm. your relationship. So the big question is taking a look at if you're shut down, what can you do? The main thing I would say is tell your partner that you're feeling shut down. Yes. Get the stuff that's in your head out of your head mm -hmm. so that it has less control over you. Like this is a bad neighborhood. You'll get mugged up here. And if you can get things out either on paper or to a therapist or to a close friend or to your partner, mm -hmm. it will have so much less strength and control over your head. And eventually you're gonna to wanna to share it with your partner anyway. Yes. And just stating the elephant in the room can go a long ways towards reconnecting you because mm -hmm. now you're both having the same viewpoint the other person's not lost knowing that something's wrong but not what and you've also role modeled and given your partner permission that it's okay for them to tell you what's going on for for them as well mm -hmm. and then if you guys are both sharing what's going on that's building the intimacy and the connection back again mm -hmm. that was being interrupted by the fact that you had something you hadn't spoken up about so that's a that's the first thing to do to kind of interrupt ways that you're feeling shut down. I think it can also really help to determine what your needs are that you're not getting met. Because if you're not feeling passion, if you're not feeling connection, there, there may be a need between the two of you that you're not feeling mm -hmm. is being met. So you're kind of starving and backing away. A good place to look for unmet needs, check out the book The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Uh, really great book. Um, for those of you who are uh, I mean, he's, he's a religious man, so if that kind of tenor, uh, the word God in a book, um, doesn't, doesn't work for you, just ignore it. The book is super, super worth it. And for those of you who are really religious and spiritual, you're going to love this guy. He's awesome. Yeah, the, the information is really powerful. So learning what your, love, your partner's love language is, learning what your love languages are, might just find, you might just find that he's been speaking Russian and you've been speaking French and you're both saying I love you mm -hmm. but because you guys are saying it in a different language in a different dialect you're not feeling it and that is one thing that might be having you feeling shut down you're now so depleted in the area of feeling loved and seen and cared for by your partner mm -hmm. that you've just withered mm -hmm. it's like a vitamin deficiency you have basically a relationship ver version of rickets or scurvy <laughs> so we've got to get you some limes we got to get you some vitamin C and, and, and pull you out of that this is the biggest sexual organ that exists, the brain. Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> so engaging the brain. And a lot of people get enjoyment and connection out of creating together. Mm -hmm. So if you're working with your partner to figure out how to reignite the passion, you're already pulling together. You're already doing something together. And it's a team effort rather than, why didn't you do that? You weren't there for me. You're, you, it becomes a, a joint creation. Mm -hmm. Also understand that if you guys are gonna create that team project of, re, you know, team reignite the passion. <laughs> um, when you consciously start doing that, resentments and old hurts and, and old emotional things that are, you know, unfinished, that business will float to the surface. Much like when you're cleaning out your, your swimming pool for the new season, dredging up those leaves from the bottom will get the muddy 
or will muddy the waters for a little bit. So as you go into this, realize that it's going to be a little uncomfortable at first, and we were warning you now so that you don't get shut down again. Yes. If you get shut down again, return to step one. Yes. Tell your partner you're feeling shut down. And you can always get some coaching if that helps. Sometimes talking to a third person can help clear things up really quickly. Yep. So leave comments below. Subscribe to this, uh, this channel if you're interested in getting more alerts to these videos and other fun things. Thanks. Bye.